Good morning, everyone. Here we are. We've got a chicken on the loose. Not really. That's Jack. Jack's a cool chick. Little Jackie. Jacqueline. Um, Jack would follow me to the ends of the earth. I'm, I'm fully convinced. Jack and I are best friends. We hang out. I let Jack come out here and fish around for crickets and bugs and worms because Jack comes back to me. The other chickens do not. <laughs> the other chickens run, unless I have mealworms, and then they they come to me. But Jack is uh, Jack's my best bud. We hang out a lot. So I wanted to show everybody the changes that I've made. It's nothing exciting or anything uh, massively massive, but. We've still got 14 chickens. We have zero buttons. The buttons flew away. Um, I'm a dumbass. I left the, one of the cage doors open. I, I don't even know if I covered this on one of my videos prior, but just to recap, um, I got excited about there being eggs from the quails, and I got so excited that I forgot to shut their door and left it open. And the next morning I came in and they were all gone, 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 gone. And it just so happened that that same night, because again, dumbass, I, uh, I left the door open. So they flew to the wind. So there's six button quails loose here somewhere. <laughs> I hope they're flourishing. There were males and females. I know this for a fact now. Felicity got her a nice big worm earlier. That was, uh, it's it's so fun when they get bugs and worms and chase each other around just the best ever but uh we've uh so the, the buttons are gone as you can see womp, womp. gone buttons um their cage is now sits empty boo depression nothing much has changed in here i've been fluffing up their stuff because it smells really bad in here like horrifically bad look what they've done to the wall it's so gross but um yeah the smell's not too bad in here now because like like churned up the mulch and stuff and it seemed to have helped a lot um as i said yesterday thank you to all those who watched yesterday's video um we've been getting lots of eggs got three green ones today i have someone that lays a bright white egg I do believe that that is Gwen. I do believe that Gwen is the white egg layer. But uh, I've um, expanded their run. So during the day, my blackberries are doing very well too, as you can see. But I'm going to have to trellis this because if you look at the end of this little dude right here, you will see that the ends are getting starting to turn black because they're touching the ground. And that's not the way they're supposed to be. So they need to be trellised. <laughs> you think, guys? You really think that chicken's going to be dumb enough to get close enough to you guys to grab her? I doubt that, but okay. But um, I'm getting blackberries. Look at all these little berries. Look at them. They're everywhere. I doubt they'll actually come to anything that I can actually eat. Because it said that it would take a year or two for them to actually like start producing. But um, they're producing now, so I just got to get them. I just got to get them trellised up so that the ends don't die like that. But anyway, so I've got this wire here at this end. So this is the official end of their run. They really enjoy this area right here. They seem to really like to uh, to dust themselves there. I put a little bit of sand right here in this corner, right there. I just like one bag of play sand and they they really seem to enjoy that but it did rain so it got wet and it's kind of meh right now but uh guys it's not happening so I also extended their run out this way so that they have more room here as well we kicked the groundhogs out actually I think the groundhogs are starting to come in and out from this place now but uh, they've got this big area back here that they can play around in too. As you can see, they've done work on my shed. They were actually under the shed the other day. They were under this end of it. Parabola was under there, being a fool. Yeah, so they've got lots of room to run now. And uh, they really seem to enjoy it. 
they uh, they every morning when I come out here to open the door they are very ready and what's really funny is when I first put this this uh, run together I tried to let the favrils out so that they could run for a little bit and they wouldn't leave their kennel <laughs> it was really weird like I they stood outside of the kennel for like three seconds and just stood there and then went straight back in and I left it open all day and they didn't come out at any point in time so they must be pleased with their tiny little enclosure. I'd really like to get them something set up separately from everything else so that they can actually have a place to get out and run through the day, especially in the summertime when it's nice. Um, yeah, I'd really like to be able to do that, but right now we can't. But uh, yeah, everything's pretty good. Jack. <sighs> Jack. Jack, we can't go visit Muffy. Come on, Jack. We gotta come back over. Come on. Come on, Jack. Back over this way. Come on, friend. Come on, Jackie. Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. Go, 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 go. Come here, girl. Oh, Jackie doesn't want to love right now. So, yeah. <clears throat> I was, um, I've been taking in a lot of Oliver Anthony lately. I'm sure that everybody has heard of Oliver Anthony, Chris Lunsford. Very good stuff, guys. And I've, uh, been kind of, I, I think it's the really cool thing about the music that Oliver Anthony is creating, because we all know I'm a big music head, is that it's so raw and authentic and I think that's why it hits so hard, because it's not just North of Richmond, North of Richmond. It's, I want to go home. It's 90-some Chevy. It's, I got to get sober. It's all of them. They're so raw, and it's such, it's such just emotion pouring out into a microphone. And I think that's what's hitting everybody so hard right now, because everything is so plastic. Everything is so processed and digitized and, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot to be said about analog things, you know? I'm, I'm a firm believer in paper and pencil and, you know, the, the keeping track of things in that way because if things are digital, all you have to do is unplug it <laughs> and it's gone. That's why I never got into, like, Bitcoin and, and stuff like that. I'm, like, so... If something happens and the grid goes down, <laughs> your Bitcoin is non-existent now. So I don't, I don't, I have a problem transferring over to everything being 100% digital because I, I really don't think that that's the way. I think there has to be a, some type of compromise between the digital and the analog. To, to make a nice happy balance. I don't I don't think going full digital is the way to go. Um, so, yeah. One second. The chicken had to be detained. <laughs> My neighbor thought she was loose. I'm like, no, she's just chilling. Jack's a good girl. So anyway. Um. Yeah, there's, there's got to be some kind of happy medium, medium, middle, medium something. Everyone just needs to be medium. I, uh, so, that's my, uh, I love it. I love, I love all of his music. I think everything that he's produced so far has been just an absolute wonder hit. And it's so simple, and it's so direct, and, uh, it's, it's beautiful. It, oh, come on, Jack. <sighs> Jack had enough of me, and I understand. There's things to do. There's worms to eat. So yeah, Oliver Anthony. I don't think there's anybody on the planet who hasn't heard it yet, but it's very good. Very, very good. And I'm not even really a, a big country fan, but uh, you know, I'm not a country fan in like the terms of this bubblegum pop that you know, this bubblegum country music, this, like, Taylor Swift. I didn't even know Taylor Swift was a country music musician. I didn't even know that until, like, two weeks ago because it's so mainstream, and I'm not used to country music, quote-unquote, being so mainstream. I was like, really? Taylor Swift is country? 
Ah, not in my book, man. That's not country. That's top 40 pop. That's not, that's not country. Like, Hank. A little vocephus. Yeah, some Waylon Jennings. The, the good stuff, you know? Like, the, the really, really good stuff. Even Hank Sr. Like, Johnny Cash. Oh my god, come on, you guys. Like, that's country. This, even like Barbara Mandrell and... <laughs> The Statler brothers, you know, I mean, that's country. This, this new stuff isn't country. And, you know, everybody's like, oh, it's folk. It's, you know, it's bluegrass. It's mountain music. It's whatever. It's great. It doesn't matter. It, it's just, it's good stuff. It's bringing people together. And I really think that that's, uh, that's what we need more than anything right now is just a unifying message because man, this world's going to shit. Is it not? Crime any sake. Every day. I'm just like, Really? Really? This is, is, is this is really real, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you just wake up and it's not true, but it is. Uh, yeah, it is. So yeah, all right. I've rambled on enough. Go listen to some Oliver Anthony. Go pluck on a guitar somewhere. Pet a chicken. Carry it around with you today if it makes you feel better. Collect some eggs. Water some birds or something, I don't know. All right, I'm going to go. Y'all have a great day. Thank you for watching. All 194 of you. So wonderful. You guys are awesome. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Say bye, Oswald. Oh, you're not Oswald. You're Gwen. Gwen, the white egg layer. Pretty sure. I'm sure that's Gwenny, the white, the white egg layer. There she is. Going in to lay her white egg as we speak. All right, we'll see how that goes. Bye, everybody.